285. Song Kanan's in the building. Trying to produce a career-altering win against Ian Machado Gary. Kanan in red, Gary's in green. Look at the size of Kanan's legs oh. compared to Gary's. He's huge. He a huge lower body. Yeah. A lot of combat sports experience for Ian Gary during his formative years, but it was really the rise of Conor McGregor in Ireland that drew his attention to MMA. I mean, can you, can you imagine being a kid in Ireland when Conor no. was rising? Everybody would want to go to do MMA. Like the, the, everybody would quit playing any other sport. Right. It would want to fight. He was that big a star. Or is, actually. That's one of the things about Gary. He's very technical. He's very good at understanding his range and fighting smart enough while taking chances. He will not extend a combination of three, four punches, five punches, unless he's got his opponent hurt. He will pick at you, he will prod at you until he finds an opening to get a finish. Gary working that lead leg. Song Kanan returns a shot to the inside of Gary's lead limb. You see Gary fighting behind that jab. He's trying to pull Song Kanan out of that defensive shell. He wants him to start to lead because Gary's really good at countering. That was a hard low kick, and that one really made his leg stutter. You, Outside you look the calf. At, yeah, yep. you look at the calf bruised, and then you look at the thigh also bruised. Those low kicks are having an effect. Song seems very hesitant. Yeah, he, he understands. If he starts to rush, man, he will open himself up. Can I do that against Gary? You gotta take your time. You gotta take the openings as they present themselves. Even Gabriel Green had his moments by just not doing too much. Kanan leads with a right hand there, perhaps just trying to get his reads a little bit here defensively. Again with that low kick, look at that calf. You better check some of those. That calf is a mess already. And it's only been a couple of kicks. No real attempt to check by Song Kanan. Well, he's getting picked with the jab, John. So because he's getting hit in the face with the jab, when he mixes it up and he goes to the low leg kick, it's like too different a level. He's not picking up on it well. Gary presses forward on the jab, then retreats, now attacks the body. When Gary gets him shelled up there, I would throw another outside leg kick. When he presses a little bit, Kanan goes with his hands high. He can't see those kicks. Again, beautiful job of, of hiding that last low kick. You see how he did that? And Just he checked. Knock it in. Yep. Check that last one. Song is getting overwhelmed. And you can oh, nice oh, 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 my oh, 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 my oh, 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 because even though Gary's falling around, this is better than being at space getting hit with another big shot. So an interesting decision here by Song Kanan. Separation could be his friend as he lands a knee there. Valuable recovery time. Yeah, a lot of recovery time here for Ian Gary. Song Yadong chiefing the corner of his still, country. Still looks a little wobbly. It was her bad. Oh, 
A lot to digest after round one. Wow. Wow. You heard Henry Hoof telling him to just well, relax, relax, relax. Yeah, why don't you take a seat, buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you feeling? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Good, good, good. It's just when I when I rushed in for something. Yep, you got clipped. And that's who the body. That's my fault. Yep, yep. Yeah, because you stay you stay in front. You letting him get his confidence too, aren't you? Hey, what do you want to work behind? Hey, the job. Hey, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna touch him with it. Of fake, touch him. Fake, touch him. He throws you counter back. Then yes, the head sir. kick's gonna be there. Let's take a look at it. I mean, that is a picture perfect left hook. Yeah. Right on the jaw. And he goes down, and he was hurt really bad. If Song Kanan allowed him to get back up to his feet, when you look at the way he was wobbly after all those grappling exchanges, boy, who knows what would have happened. Well, later tonight doesn't get a whole lot bigger than this. Championship doubleheader live on pay-per-view for UFC 285. John Jones makes his much-hyped return. Seattle gone waiting in the wings. They will compete for the heavyweight title. Also, Shevchenko and Grasso for the featherweight, the flyweight title. You can buy UFC 285 right now at ESPNPlus.com slash PPV. Gary did seem pretty present in the corner, though. He seemed back. He seemed to understand what happened. But he better be very aware now because he knows that Song Kanan can hurt him and hurt him bad. And that's an interesting fight. Excuse me, an interesting round to score now, right? Yeah. It's clearly the big moment with right. Song Kanan. Looks like Gary had landed some very good leg kicks, landed some good jabs, was good on the feet, but damage. the big moment yeah. damage. with Song Kanan. The number one score criteria is damage, right? Damage. That that was the most damaging yeah, shot of the round. So does that outweigh everything else, John? Based upon my knowledge of the criteria and the way the judges are, deter are interpreting it in 2023, Song Kanan gets the round. Yes, wow. I would imagine nope. he got the round. Damage. But I'm very thankful to not be a judge <laughs> every day of my life. Under four minutes here, round two. Oh, right hand. Good head movement by Kanan. Couple nice push kicks to that lead leg by Machado Gary. Stay in front. He's beating that leg up. Thankfully for Song Kanan, he's got some thickness down yeah. there. He's got some big old legs, man. He looks like a 205 pound. Like a baseball catcher. <laughs> Oh, beautiful jab splits the guard. Very sharp. And again. You can hear Jason Stroud in the corner of Ian Machado. Gary calling for less hesitation. Coach Dean Thomas, what do you have, sir? I love what Gary's doing right now, and that's extending his hands. And because he was extending his hands, he was getting Song to extend his hands, and that's why he was able to get that jab in there, because he's getting Song to extend his hands by extending his own hands. Thank you, Dean. Joe, seemed to be a particularly debilitating calf kick a moment ago landed by Michelle yes. Carey. Yeah, real bad. And if, you, if you're looking at that left calf, calf, it's really swelling. And there's a very clear line yeah. where that last one landed. Black and blue, purple and blue line on the bottom of the calf. Yeah. It's not good. It's nasty and swelling up. Gary threw a combination on the side of the octagon where he went punch, punch, fade back, punch. Got out of the way of both left hooks. <laughs> It's pretty slick. Yeah, it was nice. From Song, he did a great job of hitting him, getting at range. And look, even there, you saw him keep the right hand up when he entered because he knows the left hook is coming now. 
A really focused, strong response from Ian Gary here in round two after what happened late round one. Yeah, he's recovered well and seems to be completely back. And now well aware of that encounter. Beautiful right hand to the body. Some pretty significant swelling for Song Kanan around that left eye, too. Keep getting popped with that jab like that, man. Your eyes gonna start swelling. That means that that jab is catching him between the eyes and on the nose. That thing is landing, it's like hitting the pad, right? That pad, you wanna hit it right in the middle? That's you throwing that jab right to the face, middle of the face, popping him. And Gary really not discriminating when it comes to his targets, mixing it up beautifully. Body, leg, head, mixing up the tempo of his strikes. Yeah, it's certainly one of his strengths is his versatility. Oh, cheers to Gary. Well, and if I know him, that's gonna get him going. Nice the body. Yep, the middle. Front kick. Okay, he's got Song Kanan. He's got Song Kanan waiting again. He can't wait to try to get his reads. He's got to be active, man. Because outside of that big moment, he has been beat up. A dominant second round for Ian Machado. Gary motions to the broadcast booth to slow maybe slow our roll. Slow slow down down. A I think bit. he's saying it himself too. <laughs> right here, you see Gary. Look at that. Put that jab right on that nose, man. Here comes another one. Look at where it's landing, right on the nose, just popping him with that jab. Look at this combo, body shot. Song drops his hands, tries to throw the left hook again. Gary fades back and hits him with a right hand. He's very aware, he looks so sharp. You have to be more active, you know? He's gonna make a mistake. <laughs> you will have a chance to knock him out. You, you have to punch more this, this round. With that left eye, the songs is a mess. Well, we're celebrating 30 years with our Changing the Game since 1993 campaign, a year-long celebration that'll include live events, enhanced fan activations, an immersive digital hub, dedicated social content, and much more. The campaign highlights UFC's groundbreaking success and unrivaled history over the past 30 years. Third and final Gary. round. Ian Machado, Gary just yelled at us, 11 and 0, 11 and 0. All right, could be 19 apiece as we hit this third and final round. Well, the Kanan corner believes that Gary is going to start feeling good now, and he'll be able to land something that could knock him out. Good combination from Gary. Not nearly enough output from Song Kanan tonight. That's probably the biggest issue, John. He's just not matching the activity. So he might have landed that big shot, but Gary will throw five or six shots before he even takes one. He's also not presenting any confusing movement. Yes. Like his movement is very forward. predictable and it's not dynamic, it's not fast. He's not doing anything that messes with the timing of Ian Machado Gary. And now Gary's got him reacting oh. on all the feints. Oh, he, he clipped him with that left hand, just caught him at the very end of it. I mean, he should be mixing his shots up as well. I mean, he should throw to the body and throw to the head. Yep. But isn't that telling, right? Like, yeah. look at all the damage on Song Kanan's face. It doesn't look like Gary's done anything crazy. He never landed one big shot that made right. the cut open up. It's just constant peppering with the jab, just beating him up, touching him. There it is. Now, there it is. It's that was a hard jab. It's a beautiful jab. But look at all the damage on Song yeah. Kanan's face. The timing of it is just so excellent. Well, he puts it halfway out there, and then he sticks it the rest of the way. And he's so good at that, too, that mixing up the high kick with it. Woo! Barely missed with that right high kick. He's so good at putting that high kick behind the punch. Subtle feints as well, and it's just hard to see where that jab's going, if it's going body or up top. And he's got the left eye of Kanan pretty much closed. Now he's gonna start tapping at that other side. He's really taking away the movement of Song Kanan with that, look, that oh. attack on that left leg. Song Kanan has got to let it fly, man. He has got to start taking some chances. 
because you know you can hurt him. You got to take more chances to try to hurt this guy if you want a chance to win this fight. Because if it keeps playing out the way it is, Gary's going to get his hand raised. Song on those shots, though, few and far between. At least he's throwing now. Yeah. He's throwing he's a got few. It. Yeah, he's got to throw. Oh, beautiful. Punches to the body by Gary. That was a nasty combination, man. Under two minutes now to go. Gary in a really good flow state with his striking now. Yeah, John, when you talk about flow state, right? That's a word that we use a lot. He's flowing now. The song can on, it's do or die now. I mean, yeah, he's really got to throw himself into harm's way to try to make something happen. But it hurts, Joe. Like all those jabs, all that bruising, yeah, yeah. it hurts. Like every time you throw yourself in the fire, you get touched on that eye. It hurts. I mean, he has been broken down systematically. Yeah. There it is, nothing left. Yeah. Left. Almost landed it there. Gary having fun, less than a minute now to go. That jab is now being thrown with a little more intent. Oh, and a big right hand now, knee to the body. Oh, huge combination from the shot of Gary. It's over. So can I may want to go home? Wow. The shot of Gary sets the ball. Look at it all. That was great. Wow. What a fantastic way to put it together. <laughs> Take to know, a says. bow, young man. That was that. Ian Boy. Machado Gary, 25 years of age, and now a perfect 4-0 in the big show. Let's take a look at the finish again, because that was sensational. And it was right after he wooed. He was feeling himself. And look at that. Left to the body, right to the body, right hand. One, two, one, two. Just beautiful combinations. Relentless. And here's the ground and pound. Just poured it on at the end of the fight. Look at that right hand. Yeah. Uppercut. Left it, hand behind it. I mean, sensational attack. Joe, it was him making a read off that first time he got hit with the left hook. Remember, he faded away from it and missed the right hand return the first time. That time, Song tried to throw the left hook again. He faded away and he caught him with the right hand and hurt him very, very badly. What a performance by Ian Garrett. I mean, this kid's a phenom, right? Only started mixing the martial arts when he was 18 years of age, and now at 25, on the brink of superstardom. Here's Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Godler's called the stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by TKO, and still undefeated, the future!